So, system disorders. There are three disorders we are going to talk about. First is allergy. Autoimmune disorder. These are the three types of disorders we are going to talk. So, first let's talk about the allergy. So it's exaggerated response of immune system. Now the agents which cause this allergy are called as allergens. Allergy causing component. So for example, if you are having an allergy of dust, dust particle is going to be your allergen. Or if somebody is having, a, having an allergy of pollen grains, then pollen grain will be the allergy. So the agent that causes allergy is called as an allergen. Okay? Now, the antibodies which are responsible for this response are IgE antibodies. Different antibodies and their different functions. Okay? Now, Generally, uh, common symptoms of allergy is sneezing, coughing, runny nose, watery eyes. These are very common symptoms of allergy. But if somebody is having an extreme allergy against something, then that person is going to suffer from breathlessness. That's called as breathlessness. Alright? Now, why this allergy generally occurs in the corner of mast cells are going to see excess serotonin and this There will be an excess secretion of this and serotonin by Mast cells. All right. Now, generally, when uh, or even in some cases, the adrenaline, but adrenaline is not secreted by mast cells, it is secreted by the gland. All right. Now, generally, allergy. Who's clear? What, what exactly is causing the allergy? So to understand the root cause of allergy, what has uh, what a doctor does is uh, the doctor will artificially inject all the allergens in the body, not the entire body, in a small part, small portion of the body. The needles are put, so like small injections are put. And the response again of that chemical and of that chemical is generally on Alright? So artificially these allergens will be 
things in the body and how the body is responding. That is the check. Okay. And whatever the type of allergy is, sometimes blood vessels get dilated. Sometimes they will get constricted, depending upon if histamine is being released or serotonin. Okay. Or if there is an excess response, then the if there is adrenaline is being released in your body. So accordingly, the anti-allergen will be given. Now generally, the anti-histamine is given as a anti-allergen. Alright? Histamine kaya major dilator is going to be dilator. Right? So if you give anti-histamine, that means the blood vessels will get back to their conversion. Okay? Generally, anti-serotonin will not be given. Okay, if anti serotonin is given, then the constriction will be completely gone. The serotonin is a vasoconstrictor. So, anti constrictor is never given. Anti dilator is given. Alright, so anti histamine is generally given. Then, in certain drugs, if in some people due to allergy, there is lots of lots of lethargy and internal organs are not working properly. Then, in such people, adrenaline is given as a drug, or if there is an extreme allergy of something, steroids. Will be given. Okay, so these quickly reduce the effect of the allergies. So let's talk about examples of this allergy. Three examples we are going to talk about. First is bronchial asthma. So this allergy, that is bronchial asthma, is an allergy of lower respiratory tract. Low respiratory tract means trachea cha kocha saga cha part bronca bronchioles or something that's called a low respiratory tract. So it's an allergy of low respiratory tract. So what happens in this whenever the allergens enter into the body now generally these allergens will be the ones which can be uh, which can enter through nose. Okay? Asse de sa ke allergens for example pollen grains, dust particles small particles of some whatever okay so when they will enter through the nose what is going to happen the body is going to give response to this now ideally all these particles should be filtered in the nose itself because there are these layer present but if at all this does not happen and these particles come in contact with the respiratory tract then there is a large amount of so all these uh, bronchioles and everything they swell. Okay, and so the passage gets constricted. There is a swelling, of course, the passage will be constricted. And so the air cannot pass it out. So a person feels pressure. Okay, what is going to happen? You to understand what is happening here. So, so smooth muscles which are present in the bronchioles, in muscularis layer, and there are four layers we know, right? Serosa, muscularis, submucosa, mucosa. So, this muscularis it contains all the smooth muscles. So, these smooth muscles, they are going to uh, dilate, okay? Or they are going to swell up, okay? So, they swell the alamoyas of the mucous membranes which are there, they are going to secrete excess amount of mucus. Alright? So, if excess mucus is secreted and if the muscle membranes are swollen, the person will not be able to breathe. Okay, yeah, that's what happens. Asamaja Lokana, breathing pump or something. Right? So, to avoid this breathlessness or to come out of this breathlessness, what happens is bronchi and bronchioles will close up completely. Because there will be excess amount of mucus and sweat. And so bronchi and bronchioles, they block, they remain blocked. 
and air may not go inside. And so, this pump, which is given generally, it contains bronchial dilator drugs. Alright? So, the pump. It has a pure dilator. So there are two ways either avoid exposure to all the allergens, and if at all you get exposed, then just inhale the bronco. Okay, that's how this bronchiolastic works. Next is KP. Next, allergy is KP. Now, this is allergy of pollen. The allergy of pollen grain. And what happens in this allergy is so when a person gets exposed to pollen grains, eyes, uh, the mucosal membranes of eyes and upper respiratory tract, then nose, pharynx, and larynx. Okay, this part will get hypersensitive and there will be excess secretion of mucus. Alright, so watery eyes and flowing nose is the Symptom of this behavior. Okay. Now, extreme type of allergy. Is called as anaphylactic shock. Okay. So anaphylactic shock is the extreme kind of uh, allergy. Okay. The most severe. So what happens? Now you are the uh, allergen is going to in, uh, enter into the blood vessels. Okay. If at all you have any problem with, before giving you any antibiotic, doctor asks you, what the antibiotic is allergy allergy? The antibiotic is allergy to They generally ask you this. Right? So when they are asking you, why they are asking you this? If at all the allergen comes in contact with blood, and if a person is having allergy of that allergy from that allergen, then what happens is the moment this allergen comes in contact with blood, the mast cells are all over the body are going to secrete the stomach. Okay, so what happens here? The histamine all secretion happens. Now, histamine is a vasodilator, so it's, it dilates all the blood vessels. And so, if the blood vessels are dilated, their permeability is increased. Alright? And if that happens, the fluid, that is plasma, from the blood will start leaking. Okay. If our body, if our skin, very carefully nikalte hai, there's not even a single drop of blood outside the blood vessel. We call it closed circuit system, right? So, in the body cavities, not even a single drop of blood is, whatever blood is there is present to be the tube. Okay. So, blood coming out of the blood vessel, the fluid coming out of the blood vessel is the vaccine. So, if entire fluid is leaking from the blood vessel. So what's going to happen? The blood volume will be increased, and as a result, blood pressure will increase. Right? And 
That's why the person may die. This is an extreme reduction in blood pressure and blood pressure. And all this happens because of disturbance. Alright. So this is about the allergy. Now we are going to talk about the autoimmune disorders. So, autoimmune disorders mean what? When our immune system cannot differentiate between self and non self. Okay, what did we say? The most uh, interesting characteristic of our immune system is it can discriminate between self and non self. And that's why it is only going to treat the pathogens as the foreign bodies and not our own cells. Because if you know all the antigens that are present in our body, then the immune system forgets to discriminate between self and non self. It is also going to start attacking our own body cells as well as the pathogen populations in the body. Okay, that is called as autoimmune disorder. When your immunity is only against yourself. Okay, when immunity cannot distinguish between self and non self. Okay. So, in such cases, what it will do? It produces antibodies against cell Right. Let's talk about some examples, sort of examples of these autoimmune disorders. Now, these autoimmune disorders might result as a uh, result due to the genetic mutations. Due to certain mutations, the immunity will not be able to recognize its own antigens and will attack them on their own. All right. Now, so the memory. There will be a memory problem. Right? Memory problem is not brain wala memory problem, the immunity wala memory problem. The T cells and T cells cannot keep the memory. Yeah. So there will be So let's talk about some examples. In my senior papers, we are studying this. It's a disorder between. So sometimes what happens? The antibodies are formed against acetylcholine receptors. Acetylcholine receptor.
uh, the junction between nerve cell and nerve ending and muscles. It's a muscle plate where the neurotransmitters are going to be assembled. So what happens is our body forms antibodies against. Receptors. There are these present. They are present at the junction of nerve endings and muscles. Call it as a muscle plate. So, sorry, motor plate. Okay. And so, these muscles are destroyed completely. Receptors are destroyed completely. So, if nervous system is not communicating properly with the muscles, the muscles are going to degenerate as a result of this myasthenia. Next is pernicious anemia. So in pernicious anemia, what is going to happen is the antibodies are formed against castles and intrinsic factors. What does it do? Secreted by which cells of stomach? Started with this chapter, I've been telling you tissue water, tissue water, nobody read it. Nobody read it. You just hear me out and you're like, okay, fine, sir. And I'm not going to read it. You are four months away from your peak. Literally four months away from your peak. Four, five months max. Tops. It's just basic of digestive system.
is secreted by C cells of stomach and it acts on large intestine for absorption of vitamin B12. So, if the antibodies are formed against this casamine receptor, and we use the formula of AHIM, and go to the end of the So, when you have a fight, you can use the formula of AHIM. So this acts on large intestine where we vitamin B12 is absorbed. So it's going to help in absorption of vitamin B12. So if antibodies are formed against casamine factor, then the vitamin B12 will not be able to absorb, uh, get absorbed, and then RBCs will not be able to form. Three months ago, we had a question about which cells of stomach help with formation of RBCs? So, question number. For that, you must know that T cells of stomach they secrete gases intrinsic factor. This gas intrinsic factor is responsible for absorption of feed well, and feed well is responsible for production of RBCs. If you know all these then only you will be able to solve this question. So, these antibodies, so if the RBCs are not produced and among the hemoglobin is reduced, then that is called as, that condition is called as anemia. And this anemia is caused due to the inability of production of gases. Okay? Or inability of absorption of feed by this Casamine factor is produced, but it is attacked by antibody as soon as it is produced. Okay? So this anemia is called as pernicious anemia. Next is Hashimoto disease. So in this antibodies are formed against thyroid cell. Thyroid gland is attacked by the antibodies. So thyroxine hormone will not be able to produce, will not be produced. And so there will be hypothyroidism, which will be caused into this. Next is rheumatoid arthritis. IgM antibodies are produced against our own joint synovial tissue. Okay, this is caused due to IgM antibodies. So what happens is our, in our joints, there is, so we have studied rheumatoid arthritis in locomotion chapter also, disorders of locomotion or, or the skeleton. So you are the synovial component which is present in our joints. Okay. So the synovial membrane starts producing black granules. This is called as panus. Okay. These black granules or this panus will be produced by synovial fluid, uh, sorry, synovial membrane. And these granules, they accumulate on the surface of the cartilage. Okay. What happens? There is always going to be a cartilage present in the uh, synovial joints. Okay? And this panus gets accumulated on the cartilage. And so the cartilage becomes so stiff that it cannot move. So movement of joints is completely hampered. What are other things? Okay? And all this happens because
because of the attack of IgM antibodies on our bodies, synovial bodies. All right. A person goes to excruciating leg pain in the rheumatoid arthritis. Cartilage are not able to move. And if a person tries to move the joint, it's extremely painful. Okay. So generally, surgery is the only option here. The pathos is removed by surgery. Next is IDDF. Insulin. Dependent diabetes mellitus. So in this, what happened is what happens is Antibodies are formed against beta cells. So beta cells are killed, and as a result, a person will not be able to produce insulin. So there will be insulin deficiency okay, in the body. And so, if the deficiency is there, insulin deficiency is there, the glucose will not be able to get converted into glycogen. And that case, the insulin, sorry, glucose will remain in the bloodstream itself. So, blood glucose level will then be called as diabetes. So, insulin dependent diabetes is autoimmune Okay, our body cells only are at the body. Alright. Now let's talk about immunodeficiency disorder. Let's talk about immunodeficiency with oh, immunodeficiency disorder. First is skin. Skin stands for severe combined. Immunodeficiency. Okay. It's a mutation in the gene which is responsible for production of an enzyme called as adenosine diaminase or deaminase. Okay. Now, this enzyme, why is it important? This enzyme is involved in maturation of T and B lymphocytes. Okay, the maturation of T and B lymphocytes in bone marrow and thymus will happen because of this adenosine deaminase enzyme. If this enzyme is not produced, then the T and B lymphocytes will not be able to produce. Okay. 
so blood and lymph will not have enough amount of T and B lymphocytes. So if a person is not having immunity while a cells, the person is going to die. So always remember, the person does not die because of lack of immune system. The person dies because of multiple infections. <coughs> okay. So if there is no immunity, so whatever the infectious agent comes in our body, the immune system will not be activated at all. And so the person will suffer from n number of infections. And due to these infections, the person will die. All right. Always the result of autoimmune or sorry, uh, immunodeficiency diseases is the infections, multiple infections, which kill a person. All right. So, for example, this streptococcus pneumonia, it lives in our respiratory system. It's permanently present in our respiratory system. Then why can't, why don't we suffer from pneumonia? Because of our immunity. Our immunity has kept it dormant. Okay? So, a person whose immunity gets, so it's like a gatekeeper or a watchman. It will not allow random things to come in and proliferate in our body. Alright? And so, if the uh, that watchman is gone, all these microorganisms are going to proliferate. Alright? And they will start causing infections in our body. Okay? So, that's what happens in case of skin. So, person is going to die. Because there is no immunity. Alright? Next is, so for this, the therapy is gene therapy. Treatment is gene therapy. Alright? Next is AIDS. Acquire Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome is AIDS caused by HIV, Immune, uh, human immunodeficiency virus causes AIDS. Take care. So, what happens is this HIV. What does it do? It attacks helper T cells. Helper T cells he pura immune response trigger karte hai, right? Correct? So helper T cells are going to receive the first signal from macrophages. And then they are going to release interleukins, due to which the leukocytes will get all they'll get all the signals. So this HIV attacks helper T cells only. So if helper T cells itself are attacked, baki immune response I makes it. Okay. So ye kitna kam karta hai? It's generally the number of helper T cells in one liter of blood is 900 into 10 raised to 6. Per liter. Ye kitne kaam ho jate hai? Okay. So, 8 zeros means 1 crore, no? Nay, 10 crores. So, from 90 crores, it will get back down to 20 crores. 
This is very much low. All right. So from 900 million to 200 million. The number gets down to that. And there is no treatment on for AIDS. Okay. Now, HIV infection or AIDS, we have a lot difference in it. HIV infection is when HIV has entered into the body and it has started attacking the helper tissues. Okay. So, this HIV is in the body, the body is in the body, it is in the body, it is in the body, it is in the body, but it is in the body. And this HIV infection should not lead to AIDS. That will be taken care of by medicines. That can be done. Okay. There is a medicine called a zero wooden. This zero wooden, it acts against this HIV. It just makes sure that the number does not increase in the body. Okay. That can be done. But we cannot eliminate HIV completely. So there is no medicine against it. Agar HIV ko proper time pe roka nahi, uska number proper time pe proliferate hoda se nahi roka, then the condition will worsen up and fit the age will be seen. Okay? And in this case then, in case of age, the person again dies because of multiple different infections. Like pneumonia, like gastro. So, multiple severe infections. The person will die because of that. Alright? Understood? So, this is about the immunodeficiency disorders. Now, let's talk about Immunotherapy. Okay? Therapy using immune system. Okay, so immunotherapy is basically it's a manipulation of immune system. If immune system is, if a person is suffering from autoimmune disease, then suppress the immunity. If person is suffering from immunodeficiency disease, increase the action of immunity. So whatever immunity is doing, we are either suppressing it or augmenting it. Okay? So we are basically manipulating our immune system in a therapeutic way, which will help the person to survive. Alright? So that is called as an immunotherapy. Okay? Now, there are multiple ways through which this response can be modulated. So, SHO drugs are there, SHO chemicals are there, which the immune system ka response modulate karte hai, unko kehte hai immunomodulators. Alright? So, these immunomodulators, what they are going to do? They are going to moderate, mo moderate the response, patient's immune response. So, just as I said, there will be immuno uh, suppressing therapies. So, generally, when there is autoimmune disorder, hota hai, then the immunosuppressant is given. The immunomodulator use will be immunosuppressant. Okay? It will suppress the immunity. So, jinko autoimmune disorder hoti hai, doctor unko generally kehte hai, ki bimar mat padho, kisi bhi pathogen se expose mat ho jana. Agar immunity ho uh, jata, activate ho jati hai, then it is not going to care if it's self or non-self and it is going to attack everything that is present in the world. Okay? So, jaysay, 
इम्यूनिटी को सप्रेस करने के लिए इम्यूनो सप्रेसेंट देते हैं वैसे ही इम्यूनिटी का इफेक्ट बढ़ाने के लिए इम्यूनो पोटेशियम ड्रग देते हैं पोटेशियम पोटेंश पोटेंसी ऑफ द इम्यूनिटी शुड बी इंक्रीज और राइट सच ड्रग्स आर कॉल्ड एज इम्यूनो पोटेंशियशन ड्रग्स ठीक है और राइट so this is about the immunotherapy now we are going to talk about two major diseases which are caused due to the problems in our body one is aids and second is cancer okay so we are going to talk about these two diseases in detail so first we are going to talk about aids acquired immuno deficiency syndrome ab hum logo ne char words hum alag alag se use karte hain for some We use as a disorder. For some, we use as disease. For some, we use as syndrome, and for some, we use as deficiency. Okay, all four indicate that there is some problem with the body. Okay, but all four are going to tell us different problems. Disease will be generally caused due to some pathogen. and it will show the symptoms against that whatever that one pathogen is causing okay so disease has specific symptoms against that specific pathogen okay wo baki kuch bhi nahi batayega deficiency occurs due to the uh, when some nutrient or something is received in less amount by the body then a person suffers from deficiency okay disorder is generally genetic okay if some organ is not formed in proper order then we call it as a disorder and syndrome is a group of multiple diseases uh, in a syndrome a person will show symptoms of multiple diseases and multiple problems okay so a syndrome is going to have group of symptoms against multiple diseases usko hum kehte hain syndrome okay so that's the difference so this aids is a syndrome acquired immuno deficiency syndrome because it is going to show symptoms of multiple diseases which are caused due to inactive immunity theek hai it was first reported in 1981 all right so far it has killed 25 million people all over the world okay it was detected for the first time in 1981 all right and this data of killing it in for like 25 million people is from 2005 analysis after that 20 more years have passed almost okay must have killed even more such patients or people 
all right it was first seen in rhesus monkeys okay from africa from the scientists who were working on this rhesus monkey and from the body fluids of this rhesus monkey this age was so the scientists got infected okay this virus it spreads through body fluids so maybe if they have for analysis they have taken the blood or saliva or whatever so through the fluids it got transmitted in humans and from human to human either by sexual contact or by needles or through blood transfusions it gets transmitted to different people all right so from african monkeys rhesus monkey this was this came into humans okay now this aids is caused due to hiv human immunodeficiency virus okay it belongs to a group of retroviruses it's a type of retrovirus retrovirus kisko kehte hain jiska genome hai rna the genetic material is rna and that's why it's called as a retrovirus all right now iske naam bahut alag alag diye gaye hai this virus it attacks a receptor specific receptor present on the surface of helper t cell theek hai is receptor ka naam hai cd4 receptor this hiv it attacks the cd4 receptor of helper t cell
There are two variants of this HIV. This is the structure of HIV. There are two variants. HIV-1, which is very much common in India and in world. Okay. Its size is 90 to 120 nanometers. Or Dusra HIV-2, which is common in West Africa. Okay, so let's talk about this structure of this HIV. So this HIV, it belongs to a family retrovirus. This family ka dusra naam hai lentivirus. ठीक है अब दिस आउटसाइड इज द प्रोटीन कोट और ये जो बीच का है दैट्स कॉल्ड एज द प्रोटीन कोर ओके सो इस कोर में कोर एरिया में दो सिंगल स्ट्रैंडेड आरएनए मॉलिक्यूल्स होते हैं वी कैन सी देयर आर टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ आरएनए सो दीस आर टू सिंगल स्ट्रैंडेड आरएनए मॉलिक्यूल्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट ठीक है नाउ this core it also has two protein codes okay okay sorry along with this single stranded rna there is also a presence of reverse transcriptase reverse transcriptase kya karega What does the reverse transcriptase do? Transcription mana ka hoto? What happens in transcription? Promoter वगैरह नहीं चाहिए. क्या होता है transcription में? Simple process. What happens? Synthesis of proteins. Transcription में देख. But translation में लगा होगा. Sorry. So what is produced in transcription? Like yoga but basic yet nay paper shop kele. What exactly are you doing? Can't you just tell me a simple thing in transcription? mRNA is formed from DNA. And in translation from mRNA, the code present on mRNA, the protein is produced. What codons are formed and opposite strand? What, what, what on what track are you? I don't understand this. So we kind of best the तुम्हारा नहीं दे चाहिए एग्जाम मी स्टेट बोर्ड का सिलेबस संपूर्ण है रोशिक को तो नहीं संपूर्ण है माला पेड़ नहीं लगना है तुम्हें नीड देना है वंडा मोड़ में तुम्हारा यह वाला सांग किया सकलो यू नॉट स्टार्टिंग एट टॉल एंड आई हैव सी अबे आई हैव बंच ऑफ पीपल इन फ्रंट ऑफ बी यू से आई � 
इफ यू डोंट वांट टू स्टडी इट्स इट्स ऑफ नो यूज तुमचे पेरेंट्स वाले काय सांगतात की नाही दिवस भर ते बायो तो पुस्तक घेऊन बघ काय करता बायो पुस्तक घेऊन बसतो मग जर का त्याच्यात काहीच डोक्यात गेलेला नाहीये तर आय हॅव बीन टेलिंग यू टू स्टडी 11 स्टँडर्ड सिलेबस टिशू बाजार टिशू बाजार टिशू बाजार नो बडी डिड एनीथिंग दिस इज 12 स्टँडर्ड दोन चॅप्टर्स च्या आधी आपण हे शिकलो आहे you can't even tell me what transcription does i don't know what to do with you people if you all are not interested in studying just tell your parents and me right now i will not invest time your parents will not invest money in you they are having extreme hopes from you what are you doing 11th मी समजू शकते ऍक्च्युली इट्स अनएक्सेप्टेबल बट स्टिल मी समजू शकते की ठीक आहे ऑनलाईन झालं तुम्ही अभ्यास नाही केला आय डोंट नो व्हॉट नॉट 12th स्टँडर्ड समोर बसून शिकवलं तर तुम्हाला झोपा काढता का प्रॉब्लेम काय आहे घरचे खूप काम करायला लावतात का मी सांगते त्यांना काम करायला लावू नका अभ्यास करू नये म्हणून प्रॉब्लेम काय आहे तुमच्या लोकांचा यार तू जस्ट फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग मी Anyways, this is a reverse transcriptase enzyme which is going to do exactly opposite to transcription. Now, generally, viruses infect by entering their genome into the host cell, and host cells are going to have DNA as their genetic material. All right. So, if the DNA is a genetic material, and if this remains as single-stranded RNA. then it will not be able to produce the protein it will not be able to replicate and the main thing that viral dna wants is to replicate and so what does this reverse transcription going to do in transcription rna is formed from dna in reverse transcription dna molecule will be formed from single stranded rna okay and because of this and for this this virus has reverse transcriptase enzyme so when this virus infects the cell it is also going to insert this reverse transcriptase enzyme along with rna so that whenever the rna enters into the cell it is going to produce dna in the cell all right so this this dna will replicate and the protein will be formed so number of viruses will increase inside the cell ठीक है सो फॉर दिस पर्पस दिस वायरस हैज द रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेस क्लियर सो फार नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द प्रोटीन्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन दिस वायरस नाउ जनरली व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कोर सो कोर विल हैव टू लेयर्स इन इट दिस द स्क्वायर शेप्ड और और क्वाड्रिलेटर दैट वी हैव ड्रॉन this is the inner layer all right of the core so this inner layer is made up of protein called as p24 okay and then outside this there is actually i have just drawn the dots but this is the entire layer which is filled with this p70 so core of this virus is made up of two types of protein molecules okay p24 and p70 theek hai understood so this is a single stranded rna in that there is a presence of restriction enzymes which is responsible for the formation of dna when it will infect the host cell theek hai and covering of this single stranded rna is made up of two proteins p17 and p20 okay now when we studied about viruses in biological classification we studied that viruses have protein coat and genetic material okay so now let's talk about its protein coat jisko hum kehte hain envelope okay so this is a protein covering of this virus
all right fine so this angle of is made up of a uh, protein molecules it has characteristic protein molecules present in it present on it okay which is g40 gp41 and gp120 okay so what is a what is so special about this gp120 and gp41 so this gp41 is present in this envelope part okay and this gp40 uh, 120 is present on the surface okay so when we studied the immune response what did we say ki macrophages information leke aate hain right and then they pass on this information to helper t cells all right so is macrophage ke upar hota hai cd4 molecule okay macrophage ke upar kon hai cd4 molecule hai और इस CD4 मॉलिक्यूल के अटैचमेंट के लिए CD4 का रिसेप्टर किसके ऊपर है हेल्पर टी सेल के ऊपर सो क्या होगा वेन माइक्रोफाज इज ट्रांसफरिंग द इंफॉर्मेशन टू हेल्पर टी सेल वो क्या करता है वो जाके हेल्पर टी सेल के साथ अटैच हो जाता है एंड दिस अटैचमेंट इज थ्रू सी डी फोर मॉलिक्यूल ठीक है सो सी डी फोर मॉलिक्यूल कहाँ पे प्रेजेंट है On the surface of macrophage, और इस CD4 molecule का receptor कहाँ पे present है On the surface of helper T cell, okay? So it's like a lock and key, all right? So जब ये दोनों एक दूसरे के साथ connect हो जाते हैं, then the information will be exchanged. Macrophage ने क्या लाया है? Macrophage ने लाया है जो भी pathogen है उसके surface antigen का information लाया है. And helper T cell वो information लेने वाला है और उसके accordingly antibodies बनने वाले हैं. Correct? We have studied this. अब यहाँ पे कहानी में twist कहाँ आया? ये जो GP120 है ना, इसका structure is similar to CD4 of macrophage. इसका structure कैसा है? It is similar to CD4. CD4 कहाँ present है? Macrophage के surface पे present. So, helper T cell क्या identify करता है? Helper T cell CD4 को identify करता है और अपने receptor के साथ उसको match कर देता है। अब macrophage की जगह पे कौन आया? HIV आया। और HIV के surface पे कौन है? ये GP120 है। इसका structure कैसा है? CD4 के जैसा है। And so helper T cell gets confused. And then helper T cell के ऊपर का ये जो CD4 receptor है, वो macrophage की जगह किसके साथ attach हो जाता है? इस GP120 के साथ attach हो। This is how HIV attacks the CD4 receptor of helper T cell. समझ में आया है? पक्का? Why does it attach to helper T cell? क्योंकि उसका GP120 का स्ट्रक्चर और मैक्रोफाज के CD4 का स्ट्रक्चर सेम है और CD4 और CD4 रिसेप्टर एक दूसरे के साथ बॉन्ड बनाने वाले हैं। तो CD4 की जगह कौन आया? CD4 के जैसे दिखने वाला एक दूसरा प्रोटीन आया। एंड दैट्स व्हाई CD4 एंड दैट CD4 रिसेप्टर। सो दिस GP120 एंड CD4 रिसेप्टर फॉर्म द बॉन्� तो HIV जाके helper T के cell के साथ attach हो जाता है through this GP one third clear understood fine so आज यहाँ पे रुकेंगे tomorrow we will talk about the pathogenicity मतलब how the infection is caused due to this HIV and what exactly happens after that and we'll also talk about the cancer ठीक है कल क्लास कितने बजे है टुमारो इस संडे मॉर्निंग टाइम कौन सा पॉसिबल है एट टू नाइन थर्टी है सब लोग केमिस्ट्री का क्लास वगैरह ऐसा कुछ नहीं है ना सो एट टू नाइन थर्टी ले ले इफ केदार सर सेल इज बोलेंगे तो टेल क्लास टुमारो इस टेलिंग की बायो का टाइमिंग एट टू नाइन
All right, otherwise, it will overlap. Class are a Kali, so it's a 